Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem B from educational fourth courses round 88 problem name new theatre squares so actually you can read the question statement but the statement actually states that you are given a rectangular ground whose dimensions are n into m meters and you have to put uh, like blocks there whose dimensions are given okay so there are actually two types of squares so the grid is made up of different squares and each square has two colors either black or white which is defined by if there is a star it means that the i i comma j square is a like a black color and if it's a dot it means it's at white color so you want to fill out the white squares with tiles and you have two options available one cross one tile and a one cross two tile okay each tile of one cross one cost x bulbs and it covers one square uh, area and same for the one cross two it costs this much amount of money and the trick in this question is you have to put the two adjacent squares in this tile in the same row you are not allowed to rotate it or cut them into two x one to one tiles so you have to only allow it in to store in in only one row so you have only one option yeah, either to use this or this okay so you have to find out the smallest total price to cover all the white squares also you should note that you should cover all the white squares only no two tiles should overlap and no black squares should be covered by the tile okay so this question after all these constraints seems pretty easy in which you are given to fill only the white square if there is only one white spot you have no other option but to fill it with the x1 this type of tile one cross one but the trick is here is if you have two places two adjacent blocks of white color then you have two options you can either put this one cross one tile or you can or you can either put two one cross one tile as you can see you can either put two one cross one tile or you can put a combined one cross two tile but you have to find out which cost less to you either two times the cost of this tile is less or the whole price of this tile is less so you can only put this when there are two adjacent dots but if there is only one dot you have no other option but to put this tile so that's the simple logic i hope you understand let's move on to the code and it will be more clear to you so what i have done here is i have taken input of all the n m x y made a total cost to be zero then I make a vector of strings to store these vectors, these dot and stars. Take the input of all the grid, then iterate over from n to m. If you find out any s of j to be a dot, and then see that j plus 1 is within the bound, is less than m, and i plus j plus 1, which is the next adjacent square in the same row, is also a dot. So it means there are two consecutive dots. Then the total is the minimum of you can convert type class into to long long 2 into x which is the cost of 1 plus 1 and the y and you increment j y because when you go back you have filled actually two tiles and i j will increase increase the count by only one so now because you have filled two blocks you will increase the j and then when you go back to the for loop it will increase it with one more okay but if there are no two consecutive dots, there is only one dot, then the total is just x. And after coming out of this loop, the answer is just total. I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. It's a very simple question. If you still have any doubts, please mention them. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.